I'm here in Bordeaux at Chateau Ponte Canet with winemaker Jean-Michel Combe. We're in the shea of the winery, and this is an amazing sight. I've never seen anything like this. It's like terracotta soldiers or something. But I just tasted their 2012, which is a beautiful one, wine, one of my favorite I tasted this year so far. And I have to say that maybe it's part of this. And could you explain what exactly are these sort of uh, cement uh, vats? Yes, they are small amphora, small concrete vats with uh, this a special shape we designed here to have a uh, good contact with the wine and the leaves, not too much, not uh, and uh, just just enough. And um, the the idea is to be uh, one step further. Uh, in the um, sincerity we have with the terroir of the of Ponte Canet, and uh, we produce the the grapes with the best sincerity to the terroir to the place. Then we transform the grapes with the same wheel of sincerity into wine, and then we age the wine. And we wanted to to keep this sincerity um, with the terroir. Uh, up to the end of the the final blending, and, and so this this is uh, replacing some of the maturation in, in oak casks. Yes, then. yes, it's a part of uh, we 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 moved to, uh, a part of the one wine barrels into uh, those cement vats, and uh, the other idea because we work biodynamic here, and we wanted to uh, to keep on working with the biodynamic philosophy. Here and uh, we wanted to link those vats to the terroir of Ponte Canet, and uh, that's why uh, we wanted to have vats we could not buy somewhere or we could not see somewhere else. So those contain in the in the wall in the cement some parts of the terroir, ah, okay. and uh, to be uh, uh, to go. Uh, to the final point, we we took some parts of uh, limestones in the best parcels of Merlot, and um, and we crushed them, and they are in between the the cement, and for the they are really dedicated more for Merlot wines mm -hmm. when they are separated, and uh, and then for the Cabernet we took uh, some gravels, we took the the, the gravels without crushing them because I feel they, 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 they give an energy and we wanted to preserve this energy and, uh, and those uh, are more dedicated to Cabernet Sauvignon. So they are half with limestones and half with, uh, with gravels and the color is coming from a, sp a special small plot in between two parcels of Merlot and uh, the color is coming from clay we, we mixed with uh, white concrete, so everything in the vat is unique, is from the estate, from Ponte Canet. And, and will the wine spend the same amount of time that it would have yes, spent in the barrel? Will no, there will be no difference. And what about soutirage? There's no racking though. Yes, yes, there are. The same oh. as barrels. We are oh, not okay. in, the, in the trend of uh, vin nature and yeah. so on. We are working... Uh, as usual, uh, we j just suppressed a part of the one wine barrel into uh, into those uh, those vats. We want to have the the very light oxidation naturally uh, f through the porous uh, wall, but with without the oak taste. Exactly. So the idea was some years ago we experimented the the subject for years, and the the the, the idea was. Is oak a natural compound of the wine, and how could be a, 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 a modern wine, modern great wine without oak? Well, so no. far so good. I really enjoyed your 2012 beautiful wine. Thank you. Thank you.